This is a uh, 1957, and this is uh, the first year for this next series of trucks. So the uh, 54 to 56 trucks all look alike, and the 57, they changed the body style. And this is the first year with what they call the alligator hood which opens like an alligator's mouth rather than the butterfly hood which opens each side and 57 happens to have a one year only style grill shell on there so but then 57 to 60 these trucks are real similar and really the only way to tell them is from the front end or by the VIN number and uh, this is when they really started calling these things the D series. Although that's open to some conjecture. They also called them power giants. And uh, 57 was the first year that you could get a commercial four wheel drive. Now this happens to have two wheel drive. So this I would classify as like a D200 or Power Giant and uh, this is uh, mainly for parts it's a it could be a project but it has little bumps and bruises on it but it's missing its engine and transmission and you can see that the engine compartment is quite large so you can put uh, just about anything in there you want. Now these things came with either the flathead six or you could get what's known as a polysphere uh, 315 cubic inch engine. It was the forerunner to the 318, but there were some problems with it and you rarely find a 315 that's running. So. Well, we'll close the hood here so you can see. Generally, this hood is a little bit hard to open, so I open it up first. A little hard to close, too. Well, back up here, try to keep out of the sun as much as possible. To the left of it there you can see a 56 or 54 which is the same as previous C series this things in here kind of tight but we'll try to work our way down the side of it see what we can see you see it says 200 now in the cars that year, they had what they called the forward look. I don't know what that means. But you'll see that kind of badging on the cars. It has a one piece curved windshield. This one's cracked. It has a nice dent in the roof. That's not supposed to be there. Cabs were all the same, 58 to, or 57 to 60. See, I got parts and whatnot in it. There's the steering wheel. See the center glove compartment again. Dash similar to the 54 to 56. And this has a pretty good bed on it. So, that's one of the main reasons I bought this one. Because I got a 58 that this bed would fit on. I'll show you that in the next video, probably. Now, I got a spare grill in the back there. Interesting story to 
that spare grill. I got that in trade from a Oh, those wheels don't go with this truck. Those are one and a half ton wheels. Those, uh, that grill came out of a, uh, a Kiva down on the reservation in New Mexico. Apparently, the, somebody buried the air, threw the grill down into a kiva, which is a sacred old fire thing on the reservation down there. I don't know exactly what it is, but anyhow, since that grill is so unusual, I, I traded that guy for that. Got a spare rear axle there. That's heavy duty. That's a one ton axle. I don't remember why I got the front tires off of the wheels and tires off of this, but I just got it for parts. The truck itself came from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I made a deal with a guy down there. He had a, he wanted this uh, 41 Ford cab and hood that was up here in Colorado. And I, I got that cab and hood for him and he was gonna build a rat rod with it. Refrigerator style door handles. I guess I didn't try to open the other one, but that's all right. That door works pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty beat up, but it's got some parts on there that are good. A good, good bed especially if you got a tailgate good bed is worth a lot that girl shell would be worth something to a guy that needs it a little more space over here we'll back up a little bit except I'm getting into the sun Well, you might know my phone number by now. It's 970-986-1020. Thanks for watching.